Well, I was not able to get a good picture of it. <laughs> Messing with my production quality. That's how, he, that's how you know it's me. <laughs> and not some computer CGI generated stuff. Because <laughs> the quality is really bad. <laughs> it's never a clear picture. And if it is, you see all my pores and all the bad stuff. <laughs> anyway. Hope you're having a good Memorial Day weekend. Hey, now you have to just kind of. I'm having a good weekend. I had a really great time yesterday at my birthday. Spending time with my family. I think an acorn fell over there. I got 47 minutes on my phone. Of course, gets annoying because it's a and you can't do nothing about it situation. And I even like went and deleted some stuff. I said, you know, I haven't deleted some stuff in a while. My birthday's right around the corner. Oh, somebody's watering their yard over there. What's going on? It is 6.33. Which again? Oh, they're just watering their yard. Okay. You tell me. Because I don't know. Anyway, I started deleting some pictures because I was like, I don't want to get into this issue. I haven't got the one hour video notification. Or storage low. Storage dangerously low. Can't even take screenshot on nothing. So I want to get a little bit ahead of the game there. And delete some stuff so I don't have to have any of those problems. <laughs> Deleted a lot of stuff. <laughs> and then you guessed it. Now I have a video limit. <laughs> then now y'all can kind of see it. Now it's like really orange kind of matching my shirt. It was pink just three and a half minutes ago. Gotta be quick. Even nature says you gotta be quick. <laughs> anyway, I got iced coffee and <laughs> my tattoo, of course, which I love. I have some aquavor on it. It's doing really well. I know a tattoo is like they heal a little bit and then they scab and then I guess flakes off sometimes. I don't know what else the term is for that. And you're not supposed to help that along. It's gonna have to just let it flake off. There's like a peeling process. It's like a sunburn, I should say. Anyway, I absolutely love it in those trees. <laughs> so happy. Happens with a lot of my tattoos. I don't know if you're like like tattoos or not. But my personal experience with them is I always end up loving all my tattoos. 
I know, it's like just a little, here's your life journey, right there, <laughs> for you to see. So, anyway, we just did good, you know, <laughs> getting into doing his normal little route. He likes his morning walks and his hem parts. <laughs> I guess it's a rock. Oh my gosh, he found a cat. The cats in the neighborhood are smart. <laughs> they don't run. Oh, there's two of them. Banjo goes, oh, oh one second. This one's running. <laughs> what a good puppy! Good puppy, Banjo! Good puppy! He just wants to play with cats. He grew up with cats. <laughs> he said, I love to play with cats. <laughs> anyway, Banjo's walk slash my obstacle course this morning. It's doing okay. One second. I got my iced coffee. Sometimes I don't finish my coffee, so I have iced coffee. Just completely fine because it's hot. And it's Squaw Creek, Honey Creek. Recently, I've been here. When I say recent, I mean I guess this past year or so. I've been hearing a lot about flooding in San Antonio. So it's just kind of made me kind of be like, flooding in San Antonio? I didn't know that was an issue. In a lot of places, I look around, and there's a lot of just like stuff like that. Like at the rim, which is across from La Quintera. And if you're from San Antonio, the rim is kind of relatively new. I mean, it's not super new, it's been here a while. But it's like, you know, newer than Fiesta, Texas. <laughs> the theme park. And I really like the way the room was built in the sense that um, it's kind of a quarry now. I guess they like dug up some stuff so it looks like there's a railroad track so I wonder how old that is but anyway basically when you look at the rim and see how it's built the layout the blueprint design um, they have they really worked with the landscaping and have like flooding areas and so I go there kind of often because Tracy's at Michael's she works there she's an employee um, anyway and you see they have like little ditches and they're not like cement like what I just showed you they have like grass and stuff and they're fenced off so like people don't you know it's not like a place people walk and it just holds all that water and it looks like a little pond or lake or something. <laughs> I said, wow, whoever did this really like understood the land. Which I don't know if you or how long you've been following me and all that. But um this neighbor, nice neighbor. It if you're watching the live stream, maybe you didn't come across that way. Because of this draining situation, flooding issue. Um, I had somebody, I don't know what his job specifically was, but it floods a lot in my backyard and stuff. 
and um, oh, there's really not a lot of cars today. Maybe they're all on vacation. <laughs> I guess I don't mind. But anyway, it floods a lot, and the worker, I think it was like 2018, 2019, probably 2018. But um, the worker was like. He, he just looked, like, just with his eyes, not like, you know, any sort of measurements or anything like that. And he was like, oh, your land, like, it's, um, it's the land is lowest in our backyard. And it floods in that corner, kind of where that drain leads. It's a little bit there. Oh, wait, then just go in the front yard one second. Okay, it's going like right up to the front door. There you go. Nice. It's so cute. <laughs> anyway. I don't know, so there's people who it's their job, career, to know all about how rain and flooding move into water. affects infrastructure. I guess that's A-F-F-E-C-T. <laughs> Just to practice, I don't know. And guess what I'm taking 11 minutes and 40 seconds to say is that it seems to me when I've been looking around San Antonio when you got something that specifically you're like, oh, what's going on here? seems like there's a long history in San Antonio where that's been the case. So when they say there's flooding issues, so Benjamin wants to go all the way around. Maybe we'll go through the backyard so we don't have to see the person watering the grass. But anyway, it's stuff like that where you say there's a flooding issue. You think you can just not be a part of a situation and then jump in and say, oh, there's a flooding issue. We need infrastructure. We need this and this and this project's going. As far as the highways by the rim and La Quintera and UTSA, I don't know what that's for. I don't think they said it was for flooding, but there's a lot of construction going there infrastructure but anyway that's a separate issue to what I'm trying to say right now um, you have a city some of the most populated city in the United States that was a while ago that was before people been like oh they're experiencing a population boom everybody's moving over there that was before then that statistic but anyway Say, oh, there's a lot of money to be made. People not from San Antonio or from Texas for that matter. Somehow get the privilege of doing business here and they change things all up. So, you know, if you're from San Antonio, you look at it and say, oh, that's not like San Antonio. That's like somewhere else, not San Antonio. Oh, we got the paper. Benjo! He's leaving you. <laughs> I don't want to go back that way. But anyway. Oh, he's in there just one second. Can you hear our guard dog free? <laughs> and guard dog raging. Okay. It's just me, Frida. Anyway. I guess again what I'm trying to say that's <laughs> taking a really long time <sighs> is that um for us. This is so nice. Anyway. Is that you think um you can just go into an area and be like, oh, there's money to be made here. Example, flooding. 
infrastructure. You're being disrespectful. That's what's happening. Seeing people whose life's work, people who care about their life's work, and very proud of their hard work, discipline, and dedication that they put forth into the community. You're being insulting to them. Whether known or not. Anyway. So I guess that's what I have to say about that. Long introduction. <laughs> Long middle paragraphs, whatever that was. And a little short conclusion to summarize that up. <laughs> anyway, 16 minutes. Still got 47 minutes though. Even though I have left stuff on my phone, then when I did, when I didn't have all this stuff going on. And there ain't nothing I can do about it right now but again it's part of being an adult right it's not instant punishment all that <clears throat> anyway The council member who approved this, again, it's just in front of this house. It's not a weird situation like that fence. We're like, wait, whose area is that? I thought there was like something going on there. It's literally from there to there. Well, I guess it's a little bit in front of her yard. But not where you drive. And that happened. I'm pretty sure that happened after my mom had back issues. And stuff like that. So. It's, it's kind of a different situation than that. Anyway. I don't know if y'all can see there's all this little album. Anyway, I guess that's my morning chit chat. Chase is sleeping in the floor. One second, one second. Okay, and then back. So, anyway. Uh oh, I got a little bit of clear skin going on for a second. Uh oh, call for reinforcements. <laughs> I got clear skin. So anyway, you know, I think there's some people who make fun of San Antonio. There's nothing to do here. What is there to do? You know, just because it's a big city, but it maybe doesn't necessarily look like a lot of big cities in America, in the United States and all that. Same thing. Um... But that's part of the charm. That's why people come here. I said, oh, I had such a relaxing time. The people were really cool. You know, stuff like that. There's a lot of space. It's not like everybody's all up right next to you all the time. And that gave me time to think. You know, all that. You know, you hear that a lot. And when I say you, I mean like, it's in articles, <laughs> that interviews people have given. Anyway. And we're very welcoming to people. We want to visit our home. You're our guest, go for it. We'll try to make this a pleasant stay for you.
maybe sometimes you moved to San Antonio from Nebraska or something, living your whole life in Nebraska, then you moved to San Antonio, and then you think you're an expert in fiesta. So that's okay. Just as long as you know, everybody who really knows about fiesta is making fun of you for that. <laughs> okay? Okay? <laughs> You're not a staple of Fiesta. Fiesta got along just fine without you. And Fiesta's going to be Fiesta without you. If anything were to happen, like you spoke, you move somewhere, you move back to Nebraska. I don't know. Anyway. What else? I had a great time for my birthday yesterday. Of course, I wish I could have spent it with all of my real family, my husband included. Um, I think it's really disgusting what's going on. You know, I... I'm constantly shocked that about what's going on because you know I was in Central Market with my mom we were in line and um, there was somebody laughed and they had kind of like a distinct laugh and then the person in front of me and my mom were like said something some comment like oh I that is such a recognizable laugh I'd recognize that laugh anywhere Okay. Thanks for turning around and speaking to the people around you in line to share that. <laughs> and then I get stuff like, be social. What? What are you saying? You're not telling me to be social. Stars. You are not doing. You're telling me to sit down, shut up, and take whatever you think you can give me. That's what's happening. Be social. Oh, do I have a pattern of behavior of not being social? I thought that was kind of an indicator or characteristic of people who follow me is because it could be somebody from any group organization you know background whatever and be like yeah I can see myself having a conversation with her and leaving that conversation in a better mood or any mindset whatever Because when you're social and stuff, that's kind of like what you worry, you know, you, your goal. When you interact with people, you kind of want to leave that space better. Whether it just be you had a good time or whatever. Be social. Everybody knows what they're saying to me when they say that. You're not telling me to be social. You're telling me to live in this makeshift reality that you have become accustomed to. Anyway, other than that, I had, I really did enjoy my birthday. <laughs> I had a great time. 35 so I guess it's three birthdays now without any drinking and you know with all that your problems are still your problems whether you know you're drinking or not <laughs> so I found out on either side of the equation there <laughs> so 
three birthdays without drinking. It's kind of a big deal. I've been through a lot and you know, it is a big deal. I can't, I don't emphasize it a lot, but I guess I am now. Of course my husband's proud of me. He's all <laughs> he's always proud of me. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh. You can have somebody that's so sweet to you all the time. He takes care of you. Wants to protect you. And even if you're independent and you can protect yourself, it's nice to have somebody who wants to do that too. And I feel so lucky. My one and only... And can't wait to celebrate, have wedding celebrations. <laughs> and take pictures. <laughs> Post on my Instagram. Instagram popping. <laughs> my Instagram is going to be so fun when we finally get to be together. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> because again, he doesn't tell me anything about that. You know what I mean? He's like, well, maybe you should stop posting this, or maybe, you know, you should focus or emphasize this, or maybe this is your voice. N none of that. It is. That's your Instagram, your creative outlet. You do you. <laughs> so, which I think is funny, because, you know, you think being in that position, it's all about trying to control that and especially with everything that's going on like <laughs> how are we going to control this but he doesn't have any of that ever <laughs> it's just complete support it's nothing not kind of even a hint of trying to be like trying to stifle me in any way <laughs> And, you know, he's been a business all his life, so that is a recent PR debacle. Ever since he ran for president, before he ran for president, you know, people really liked him, and for good reason. Um, which I think is something that I, and when 2016 and 2015, when he was running and people were talking about all that, um, it's not really something that was really ever emphasized, at least in my news consumption, diet, whatever. I never heard on the news when he was running anybody being like, oh, he's a great businessman and he, he did all this stuff. It was really just attacking what he, his life's work and stuff like that. It was never like, you know, he was, he was a star <laughs> before he ran for president. <laughs> you know, that was never emphasized. So, anyway. 28 minutes. I'm up 47 minutes. Seem to be 29. 10 minutes left. I'm going to do my makeup today. I like to do that. I might go running first. I haven't been running in a couple days. They say it's supposed to rain on Monday, so I gotta run sometime today. But I do long runs. In 2021, I used to run every day. Or every, like, I would miss maybe one day a week. But I had a lot shorter runs then. So I have longer runs now, and maybe I miss like two or three days out of the week. Maybe four, I'm gonna be honest. But anyway, I had a great birthday, of course at dinner, there was that one little conversation of, what, what are your shifts at Michael's, Tuesday, Friday, you only have two shifts, situation, which again, 
hadn't happened recently, and it happened yesterday at my birthday dinner. So, there's another, be social. You gotta be a part of that conversation telling Tracy she needs to get more ships. I said, yeah, as my photographer, did you see those pictures yesterday of me at the zoo? <laughs> Anyway, I am always surprised. I don't know how that works. You know, I, I'm i always like, well, maybe, you know, they didn't see me. Maybe they're focusing on their family time and had no idea they walked right past me. And if they found out that they did, maybe they're thinking to themselves, man, I wish if only I would have known, you know. I wonder if that situation ever goes on. But then, of course, there's stuff like the Central Market situation where it's like, oh, that's a really distinct laugh. You're going to recognize that laugh if you hear it twice. Type situation, so. I am, again, I, I just, I am surprised that it's like this, you know. And, of course, I always feel uncomfortable because... Why can't it be my husband right next to me and we're going to the zoo? <sighs> Type situation. Anyway, that's that. I'm not really sure if I have much else to say. Good morning chit chat. Sunday morning Memorial Day weekend chit chat. Other than Tracy doesn't like all the construction at the zoo too. I agree with you, Chasey. It's stupid, all this construction. <laughs> anyway. Well, it was nice chatting with y'all. Can't really think of much else to talk about. Gonna do my little morning routine, drawing, and stuff like that. And I guess I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna download this on YouTube and then I have to delete it right away because I got... 33 minutes almost. So that's what that's what I have to worry about now. Oh, I gotta worry about all that. And which again, something I have mentioned, made a point of at the zoo one time. Except for me, it's worrying about video space because I'm a social media public figure influencer type situation, career. But for somebody else, it could be something different than video storage space. And I hate to leave it on that note, but we all know it. I know y'all talking about that. Anyway, I hope you'll have a good one. Hope to talk to y'all soon. My husband right next to me along with my real family <laughs> and yeah I hope you have a good one I'll talk to y'all later me, bye for me and my tattoo <laughs>